Welcome to Profile Traders. This is Reza and this video is to cover 10 reasons why most traders fail. The items that I'm covering here are a combination of personal experience over the years and interaction with many brokers and discussions with them. Also, the reasons are not listed by importance for some earlier points maybe the least important and for some <clears throat> otherwise so just take them point per point but not in order of importance let's look at the first reason why most traders fail lack of trading capital if you trade for a living it is no different than opening a retail store or any other store you will need working capital to open the business and when we are talking about open capital is not five hundred dollar or a thousand dollar because it's going to be impossible to open any business with such amounts However, you have people that go into the inventor, into the uh, trading arena with a thousand or two thousand trying to turn that into a business. You must have enough reserves to withstand several months of no income while being able to cover personal expenses without living in the streets. The same way a professional trader must start its business with enough risk capital allowing him to conduct business in various markets and have several months of personal expenses covered. So you have to have a backup for several months that is locked in before you enter trading. Understand that trading capital is risk money. If lost, it should not put the trader livelihood in danger. If one trades with rent money, you will be under constant pressure not to lose. And as long as you are under the pressure not to lose, the outcome will be that you will most likely lose it all next to succeed in trading it's crucial to trade with a solid peace of mind free of any short-term financial pressure any kind of pressure you will inject into your trading in terms of having to make money will be extremely counterproductive result will most likely be a loss be losses rather than gains i usually recommend six months of personal expenses covered and ten thousand dollar account per contract now with margin flexibilities that brokers provide maybe you can drop that ten thousand dollar to a little bit less but to be very very conservative ten thousand dollar per contract it's a decent amount so make sure you are well capitalized before even thinking about becoming a professional trader second reason why many many fail at trading because they see trading as gambling many new traders enter the market with the hope of getting rich fast and there is nothing more destructive than this idea to get rich fast you must take expensive risk and excessive risk will result to failure you may succeed once you may succeed twice but over the long run, excessive risk-taking 
is a guaranteed total loss of your capital. In reality, there is nothing glamorous about the business of speculation, nor it offers an easy path to wealth. On the contrary, trading for a living is one of the most difficult ways to earn a living. Because you are constantly trading against the brightest thieves in the world. And most often they will take your money away if you are unprepared. So to avoid that you increase your odds of winning by having a solid trading plan. Looking at trading as a business and not looking at it as a gambling. You must aim at making a little money every day, but on a consistent basis, and never shoot for home runs. You must have a very well thought trading plan, and execute it flawlessly, like a businessman would do, not a gambler. 3. Third reason why most traders lose. Lack of market understanding and trading plan. Like any successful professional, you are required a solid understanding of your job, attained through years of education and on-job learning. To become a professional trader, you need education. It's like stepping into a jungle without any survival skills or knowledge of the jungle. Result, you will not survive long because markets are like jungles. Beware of entering it unprepared. Prior to start your trading career, you must dedicate at least six months on education. Select a trading method. Either market profile, point and figures, candlesticks, whatever it is that you pick. But practice till you master it. The worst thing you can do is to waste your time jumping from one method to another and waste a bunch of times on each and at the end not becoming an expert in any of it. So make sure to select a method, stick with it, practice it and master it. Once you master the method that you have selected, there will always be few trading setups that will have the highest probability trades in them. Select those Practice executing them flawlessly until it becomes a second nature. Fourth reason why most traders lose. The wrong personality. Believe it or not, you can be the best market analyst, but trading is going to be 90% you, 10% market. If you do not have the right personality and attitude and you have the best knowledge of the market, you are still going to fail. The ideal trader is self-aware, balanced, objective and free of addictions and healthy. If you have a volatile personality, undisciplined, revengeful, addicted to drugs or alcohol, you will need to work twice harder to self-correct yourself before attaining trading success because every of those items will slow you down and will work against you. If you fail to self-correct yourself, I can assure you the market will force you to do it and it's going to be through losses that you will endure due to your wrong personality. Trading is the most ruthless way to discover yourself from within. The market will turn around every single flaw that you have in yourself and bring it right in front of your eyes 
and flash it to you. So be prepared for that. You will be challenged psychologically by the market. Fifth reason, overtrading. Overtrading is probably the number one reason most traders lose in the long run. The amount of commissions that pay, are paid over time become a difficult task to recover. So if you trade 40 times a day, 20 times a day, the amount of commission that adds up will be first to recover before you even tap into a profit. So you make your life much, much more difficult. And if you are not having the right win to loss ratio, most likely the amount that you are paying in commission will be so great over the long term that, that it will totally eat through your trading capital. Also be aware that every time you open a new trade, you're exposing capital to risk. And if you lose more often than you win, it's just a matter of time before you blow your account. To avoid overtrading, a day trader should not initiate more than three, day, three trades a day because that's the maximum amount of quality moves you will find during the day. I don't care what market you are looking at. There is seldom more than that. So confine yourself to three trades, capture one, capture two. If you capture two off of three, consider yourself as an excellent trader, but not more than that. Try to make your money as early as possible during the session because during the early day or early time of the day market is fresh, everyone starts from the same starting point and whoever will guess the early direction of the market will get the best reward and will get it the easiest possible. So focus on making your money as early as possible. If you reach your goal early during the day, I suggest you stop trading for that day because the early morning moves are the most dynamic and easiest to capture. Of course, it will require some skill as well. But the more the day develops, the more difficult it will become to make more money because everything that becomes the more obvious, obviously it becomes also visible to the rest of the world and opportunities will decrease. The best opportunities are where nobody has an idea and you guess it right. So focus on making your money early during the day. Six or sixth, sixth, sixth reason why most traders lose. Trading the money instead of the charts. For most traders, as soon as a trade is initiated, all the attention is focused on the PL. And eyes are glued to the trading platform, tracking every tick fluctuation offered by the market which is absolutely irrelevant and is nothing but pure noise. Avoid that. Most often charts are completely forgotten. Trade targets are com completely forgotten. Trade management completely forgotten. All at the expense of being glued on the damn p &L. So in other words, Money takes over everything else. But there is nothing more destructive than this. As a trader, you should manage the trade solely based on charts and never ever on the PL. Whatever the charts dictate, that's what we should follow. The money part should be absolutely irrelevant. Your job 
is to fulfill your trade idea and manage it to success. Whatever happens in between the two destinations from the start to the end of your trade, money part of it should be irrelevant. Irrelevant. Money part should not exist in your trading management. It should be based on the chart and the strategies that you will follow from the chart. However, the sad part is that with the existence of trading platforms, it's very common to become a money trader instead of a chart trader. If you want to avoid this, set your platform first to trade your P to show your PL as a tick, not dollar. Second, hide your dome as soon as possible a trade is initiated and strictly manage your trade from charts start to the end. The dome should only be used as a trade entry tool and nothing else. The dome is your enemy. Get rid of that enemy. The dome is a shame by the brokers to push you to over trade you had to call traders by the phone to place order not long ago can you imagine how shameful you would be to pick up the phone 20 times to call your broker to do some all sorts of mumbo jumbo on the phone with him but you cannot do it easily in the privacy of your office and your home and no one will question you and every time you click you click the damn button the broker makes the money and you are exposed to risk and over trading <clears throat> so the dome disappears the second you enter your trade your focus goes on the chart and you manage your trade from the charts Seventh reason, short memory. If you analyze the pattern why most traders lose, it's always the result of a specific trading habit engaged during a specific market condition. For example, you do very well during rotational market condition by fading tops and bottoms. And this goes on for a day, two days, three days, you are doing very well. Suddenly market switches from rotation to trend and you continue to trade in the same way as you did during rotation, only to end up losing a huge amount of your capital. So the bad habit was that when the big days of the trend come, you do not recognize it. And you do the same thing as you would do in a rotational day, day and that day of losses will wipe out all your gains accumulated during the successful day, days. So whatever the habit is behind your big loss days, you need to recognize it and you need to remind yourself of it every single day. I want you to every single day remind yourself what is it that when triggers you lose big money. So in other words, you must be prepared not to repeat that mistake when the adverse day comes and I can assure you and guarantee you that it will come. So what I suggest you to do is to have a piece of paper, write on it in a very clear few sentences, what is it that you need to be on a lookout in order not to repeat the mistake on and on and on when the day comes where you're going to be trapped. Leave it on your desk and totally in a place where you can look at it and be constantly reminded that this is the danger and this is the 
trap you would like to avoid once he's gonna knock your door. Ninth, ego or eighth, I'm sorry, ego. There is nothing more destructive to a trader than a big ego. A strong ego will always put you at war against the market. You must prove to be right against the market and to do so you will engage in a war with the market to prove yourself. The sad part is that the market can care less about you. It can chew you, spit you like you didn't even exist. Furthermore, if you lose all your capital and you go home broke, homeless, or even put a bullet in your head as a result, it wouldn't matter a damn bit to the market. Life of the market will continue. So bottom line is that the market is always right and you and your ego are completely irrelevant. Don't even exist. To avoid conflict between your ego and the market, Every day you enter your office in order to trade, hang your ego out the door. Just imagine that there is a little coat hanger out there. Before you enter your office, say that. I hang my ego outside and I'm entering my office on a neutral state of mind. And we listen and follow to what the market is telling me to do. So be one with the market and always pay respect. Nine, fear and greed. In most cases, fear is a di di direct result of lack of market understanding and absence of sound trading plan. If you do not, or if you don't have a prepared trading plan, you will always fear to pull the trigger and if you pull the trigger you will constantly be pressured by fear of losing as a result your trade management will be focused toward avoiding losses rather than winning and making money and that's very bad because you enter to win you do not enter a trade to avoid losses. If that's the state of mind that you program yourself to be, mark, your brain will deliver what you're programming it for, which in this case, losses. So to control fear, work on gaining a strong market knowledge and develop a sound trading plan. Then you know what you are doing, why you are doing it, and you should make it a rule to yourself that any single trade, if somebody knocks your door and say so and so, why did you take the trade? You must be able to give them an exact detailed explanation why you initiated that trade. And if you do not have a detailed explanation why you took that trade, you are doing garbage. And trust me, you do not want to be a garbage man. Greed. On the other hand, greed will push you to take excessive risk and expose yourself to losses much greater than you can absorb. To avoid being victimized by greed, discipline yourself to stick to your trading plan. Meaning that if you set a, yourself a specific target, a pro profit target, once it reaches, Take your money as you plan. Don't aim for more. Don't become greedy. Don't become arrogant. If you get a series of winning trade, don't expose additional capital as you used to because you be think you are becoming invincible. Any sing sing every single time that you will deviate from a plan, you will get killed. I can assure you. I have seen people winning seven, eight, nine times in a row, then they think they, think they are invincible. The tenth and the eleventh time, they put five times more the size than what their 
original plan was those two times come they lose 95% of their profit and some of their capital gone so learn not to be greedy but rather be disciplined and make a little bit every day but make cons uh, make it on a repeating basis and on a constant basis you do not want to come every day to become a millionaire it's not gonna happen but you can lay uh, you can lay the bricks little by little on a daily basis to build the house To avoid being victimized, like I said, stick to a trading plan and aim for consistent small gains. Never shoot for home runs. Always let the market come to you and avoid chasing it, which means you must have selective areas where you, would, you want to conduct business from based on your trading plan. And you must leave your orders to, at those levels and let the market come to you. You never want to chase the market because by the time you realize it's a good idea to chase the market, most likely the opportunity already happened and you are the last one to hold the bag. When those below you will take their profit, that's when you will enter and guess what? immediate upon entry you're going to start to encounter losses 10 lack of patience lack of patience can be a real destroyer of trading capital any sound trading plan requires certain conditions to be met before a trade is initiated if you do not have the discipline and the patience to wait for the appropriate time to place your trade impulse will take over and you will trade and, uh, and you will initiate your trade hastily so if you wanted to buy let's say 1490 and then price is at 1496 it comes to 1494 and you're like you know what screw it i'm gonna pull the trigger now well, your original plan was to buy it 1490, now you're in it at 1494. By the time 1494 comes to your 1490, that four points loss that you will take because you entered the trade hastily will completely mess up your mind. And you will no longer remain composed or have objectivity. So, because you enter the trade hastily and ahead of time, even if you end up being right, the fact that it's going to go against you initially will mess you up. So, be patient not to do that, but let price come to your level that you selected initially. If you place your trade hastily, the result will be a premature trade that will most likely yield to an initial loss. The loss will aggravate your mind. Some mistakes here, sorry. Since you know that you have intentionally, intentionally sabotaged yourself. You knew you were supposed to wait to 1490, but you entered at 1494 and you know that you did wrong. So that alone will mess up your brain. You will become revengeful and your objectivity will go out the window. Not good. Not good to have that happening. Without objectivity and composure, you will most likely enter a cycle of bad trades, ending cost you a pretty penny. And trust me, what I'm saying is proven and it's going to happen if you do what you're not supposed to do to avoid such situation force yourself to always remain patient until the right conditions are met to initiate a trade 
even if it takes several hours. So I hope sharing these few things with you will help you become a better traders. And these are all experiences encountered by myself and others. And I am pretty much sure that it's always a good thing to hear from other people's mistake and be intelligent enough to learn from it and not to repeat it yourself. Have a wonderful trading journey and God bless.